What's up, people? It is KR0, and, uh, yeah, so, uh, I, I, I have plans. I have plans. <laughs> so, I haven't played any Black Myth Wukong in a week, okay? I mean, we played just a little bit, just fighting, like, you know, minor enemies here and there. No bosses. Um, uh, I haven't really played it. Okay, I've been busy, but I've that busy moment of me has actually paid off. So one thing I was having an issue with was the fact that I was paying five hundred, a little over five hundred dollars for car insurance on my one car. Okay, uh, yeah, for the past six months, that's what I've been dealing with. That's the reason why I've been barely like kind of making content i've been so stressed out about that um as you also know i also had a, a friend a good friend of mine um die um tragically and that's one of the reasons why i wasn't like really doing that much content obviously you saw my last black myth wukong gameplay and it was kind of quiet because I wasn't really talking much and I did heavily edit that I was mainly going for the bosses and I think that's what I'm gonna do with my like gaming channel just show like little bits and pieces of me just walking through almost get my butt kicked and then of course any boss battles I do especially if I have to keep replaying and replaying and replaying and I'll try to edit that a lot more I'm getting better at editing okay I'm slowly getting better at editing as you can tell with this video anyways so I definitely want to do the whole Black Myth Wukong thing. I, 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 I might actually try to stream it. I've been wanting to stream. It's just, like I said, busy, busy beaver. I, I, I can't really do the whole streaming thing just yet because I still got a few things to like kind of get out of the way. I'm almost done. I'm almost caught up financially. Thank God. Okay. And of course, since I'm not really making money off this channel just yet, because you know, low subscriber count uh yeah i i, I obviously I, I i need to boost up that like subscriber count and i need to boost up my my views and all that stuff which isn't really that big of a deal for me because again i'm in it for the long haul yeah i want to push my content to the best it can be and I have finally come up with a, a good idea for my Kamen Rider video, which I've been trying to get done for a good long period of time. Um, and thankfully I have my extra camera so I can actually do that. <laughs> uh, anywho, yeah, I'm, I'm wearing ear, earphones because I wanna make sure that my microphone is all good. You can hear my voice because I'm tired of uh, you know, losing uh, sound throughout my video when I'm talking, it sucks. And I can actually monitor myself a little bit more with the headphones. Uh, anywho, so here's the thing. <laughs> I have gained renewed interest in a really great RPG of mine. Uh, a really uh, great RPG that I actually started playing back in I would say about two years ago, two to three years ago. Uh, maybe it was 2021 or maybe it was 2020. I can't remember if it was during, it was at the tail end of the year of uh, the pandemic and all that stuff. Or if it was, uh, I have no idea. But regardless, I have gotten renewed interest in Trails of Cold Steel um that whole series uh it was part of the legend of heroes series and it's the third arc of the trail series if i remember correctly uh so yeah you had the uh trails in the sky trilogy which is trails in the sky trails in the sky sc and the trails in the sky the third and then you have trails from zero and trails to asher which is basically the crossbell trilogy or cross, cross bell duology, I apologize. Um, then of course, 
the games I got into, which is Trails of Cold Steel uh, 1 through 4, which is basically, I like to call it the Range Forzer arc, okay? Because <laughs> um, the game is all about him. And, uh, or, you know, I would, I would call it the Thor's arc, okay? The Empire arc. Uh, and then you have uh, Trails into Reverie, which is like kind of like a uh, epilogue to what the events of uh, Trails of Cold Steel uh, games, the Trails of Cold Steel series, I apologize. And now they have the Cowboy Dark, um, which is the Trails through Daybreak and Trails through Daybreak 2, which I did not realize that Trails through Day uh, Daybreak had actually come out. So I have renewed interest in the Trail series. And I definitely want to, I definitely need to play uh, the Liberal arc, which is Trails in the Sky. And of course the Crossbell arc, which is Trails uh, from Zero to, and Trails to Azure. Um, and of course, uh, oh yeah, that's what it's called. The er Erebonia arc is Trails of Cold Steel. Um, and then the Calvert arc is Trails of Daybreak. Okay, got it now. Uh, but. I, I definitely want to get back into these games. They were really actually good games that I I enjoyed. I uh, I, I was kind of mesmerized by it. It was like a refreshing new RPG for me. Uh, considering I'm a huge Final Fantasy fan. Um, and of course, uh, the Persona games, I love those, of course. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> I want to do that, and I think I might actually uh, uh, do, stream that a little bit, or maybe make that for my gaming channel. But yeah, I'm, I'm basically talking about my gaming channel. I'm also going to post it on this main channel until the gaming channel finally gets a little bit more uh, more push, I guess. Um, so I can get more subscribers, and I can get uh, uh, I can get it the YouTube algorithm as you say um, but that's not only all I wanted to talk about today I also wanted to talk about the best news I've had of all of 2024 okay well one of the best news I've had in 2024 it's like a to me it's like a, a, a like the future is gonna be okay okay and that is the fact that Lincoln Park is back. So Lincoln Park is back. And I am super excited about that. I literally, I came home from karaoke last night and, um, well, the last night at the time of recording, I'm recording this on Friday. I don't know if this is going to get out Saturday or Sunday. I, I, I don't know, but, uh, yeah. I, I, I came back home and lo and behold, I have, I, 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 I turn on my computer, uh, get on YouTube, and the first thing I see is Lincoln Park and their new music video, The Emptiness Machine, okay? And I, I'm super, I was, I, 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 I listened to it and it was such a great new song, okay? And I do have to admit, I love the the new uh the new band members uh we have a new singer and a new drummer uh we have uh emily armstrong who's the new uh code lead singer we also have uh colin britton i'm sorry i didn't have that like set up for myself um colin britton as the new drummer and um taking the place of uh, our former drummer uh, Rob Burden. Uh, but look, nobody's going to be able to replace Chester. And I'm not looking at Emily as a replacement for Chester. I'm looking at Emily as uh, a new code lead singer to a new formation of Lincoln Park. The new Lincoln Park going forward. Okay. And I know a lot of people feel like they should just change the name. But in my honest opinion, I, I don't think they should. Lincoln Park is a, Lincoln Park is a band that a lot of people uh, related to. 
uh, growing up, I, I know I did. Like I was a huge fan of Lincoln Park because it was a mixture of two of the things that I, you know, I could fall in love with, like rock and rap. Okay. The only time uh, there was a few times where we had like a lot of combinations of that, where like um, what was it? Uh, Run DMC with uh, Aerosmith and uh, Walk This Way. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but uh, Lincoln Park really kind of helped me get through high school, and a lot of people. You know, a lot of people were like, oh, yeah, you think Linkin Park is your favorite band? Man, that's just, it, they're not that great of a band. I'm like, dude, they are awesome. It, it, it got me through school. It got me through a lot of tough times. I mean, you know, when my father died, when my best friend died, um, even when my grandma died. And as much as I like the, Transform the, the first two Transformers movies, even though I have to admit, come on, uh, the the one song they did for Transformers Two got overplayed in that film too much to the point where it took me like a couple of years before I could actually start listening to that song again. And it's a great song; it's a banger. But just if you watch Transformers Two, you will understand what I mean. Like you hear. Dun, 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 over and over again throughout that entire movie. It was like there was no other soundtrack uh, connected to it, which cool, but not cool at the same time, okay? Uh, uh, but at the same time, look, nobody's gonna be able to place Tester uh, when it comes to vocals. Uh, I, I don't think, Linkin Park doesn't even, I'm pretty sure Linkin Park doesn't even feel that way with them putting Emily as their new co-lead singer. Um, and I don't think Emily would have actually been cool with that if, uh, if uh, they pulled that off because I feel like, you, like a lot of different like bands are like just so happy for Linkin Park to come back seven years after Chester's uh, untimely demise. And I, I, look, I'm looking forward to uh, what we're gonna hear from the new album, From Zero, which, you know, kind of fits with what I was talking about with Trails, uh, with the Trails games and the game I really wanna check, uh, one of the games I really wanna play. And, you know, my, my name, KR Zero. Uh, look, at the end of the day, I feel this is like a good step going forward and I can't wait to see more, listen to more of the great sounds that uh, Emily and Lincoln Park are going to produce. Uh, well, Emily, uh, Emily Armstrong, Colin Britton, and the rest of Lincoln Park is going to produce, okay? Mike Shinoda, uh, I'm pretty sure the rest of the band of Lincoln Park, um, the remaining members of Lincoln Park uh, being Mike Shinoda, uh, Johan, uh, Brad Delson, and Dave Farrell. I'm pretty sure they would not have, <laughs> have you know, uh, gone forward with this if they didn't feel like they were, uh, they were honoring Chester, so. That's how I feel. I've already shown my sister and my roommate uh, the new song and my cousin. I, I haven't gotten a response from my cousin. My sister likes it. My roommate is still like, you know, of the people who are like, oh yeah, it just don't feel right without Chester. And I understand that. But for me, I'm looking at it the way you should look at it. It's a new, uh, it's the new uh, reformation of Lincoln Park and we will always have everything that Chester built, okay? Like, you know, Lincoln Park wouldn't have been Lincoln Park without Chester, and now we're going for it with a new version of Lincoln Park that I feel like still has the, the same feel that Chester brought to it. 
okay? Uh, yeah. Also, uh, I, I, I do want to I, I do want to talk about a lot of different things. But I actually want to keep this video shorter than usual because I tend to rant on over and over again, and I'm trying to get better at that. Uh, one thing I'm definitely going to try to start doing is some more shorts, mainly you know just using my TikTok whenever I want to like post on TikTok. I'm just going to pretty much post it on YouTube. Uh, um, I might post some of my uh, former TikToks on YouTube as my shorts and all that stuff. You know, the ones that are short enough for shorts. Uh, but other than that, yeah, going for it. I'm going to talk about a few other things. Uh, like, I definitely want to talk about uh, Mr. Very Scam Likely and his, uh, his need to, like, constantly uh, call out uh, Arthur Kicks or his actual like second channel, uh, a different perspective. Uh, Cause come on bud, like we know that you just like sitting there just uh, trying to get as much clout as you can with your new YouTube channel and all that stuff. You shouldn't be famous in my opinion, but like that's, that's me. And, but granted I'm 38 years old compared to this 19 year old boy. I get it, he, he fresh and all that stuff. I'm still shocked that like uh, a different perspective is like yeah, is a little bit younger than me, but you know, mm -mm. I am. I have to admit that I'm a little bit older now. Um, but yeah, that's the end of the video. I'm gonna play some trails. Uh, I'm gonna finish up Trails of Cold Steel Four, and of course, I'm gonna play some Black Myth Wukong um, throughout the throughout the month. Um, I might be streaming it. Might not. I don't know if I'm gonna stream it on Twitch or YouTube. I might actually, now that I finally got like a little bit of relief from that one big bill that I was dreading every single month, um, uh, I'll have a little bit more money and less, I, I, I won't have to do as much DoorDash anymore. Uh, so you're gonna see me post a little bit more and you're gonna see me stream, try to stream a little bit more. My ex, since I use Streamlabs desktop as my like recording and streaming, I might actually just go ahead and um, repay for the multi stream option so I can just stream on YouTube and Twitch all at once because I'm damn sure not gonna use Kick and I'm damn sure not gonna get on Rumble. And I might even, uh, you know, stream on uh, Tik TikTok. And hopefully, you know, I, I'm going to ask some of my friends because I do kind of um, team up with some like friends on uh, some of my friends on Discord, play some uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. And that's all that's been getting fun. Uh, we've been uh, doing we finally picked it up after like about maybe a month or two of like just completely being out of it. And yeah, it was it was it was fun to play the games against everybody and surprisingly everybody actually got a win off against everybody um because we've been you know <laughs> we've been like out of it for like about a month or so so like everybody got win off of each other everybody got that one loss and everybody else got to come back you know it was good uh so I, I, I might try to post some of that on my gaming channel. Who knows? Uh, but uh, yeah, as for like some of the main videos, it's gonna be on my main channel. Hopefully, I can get the main channel up to like a decent amount of subscribers uh, by doing better at editing, like I'm going to do with this video, obviously. Um, and finally getting on the thumbnail game because goodness gracious i know that i need to do better at thumbnails uh, also um uh, like i said I, I think i said this in the last video but uh you might see a little change in setting because i'm about to switch rooms with my roommate I'm saying a whole bunch of stuff but i probably shouldn't keep all this stuff in who knows anyways i might keep this in. <laughs> anywho um, I probably should at the beginning of the 
video to say please make sure to like comment and subscribe if you are dip or if you like the content but i'm not gonna say that i'm not gonna say it in the beginning and i'm just gonna try to do the usual thing hopefully i can get to 500 subscribers by the end of the year i'm not trying to push to like at that i'm not trying to push to like a thousand k too quickly i've only been trying to do this whole thing for about three years so i intend to you know i'm about to get you know i intend to keep trying until i make it you know gotta keep pushing but until next time, people, I'll see you guys later. Have a great, have a great day. Have a great month. Have a great year. And I'll see you in the next one I make. Okay. Uh, whenever that. <laughs> Peace.